Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally got a camera to start recording my YouTube videos. So this is gonna be my first one. I got the Canon G7X. That's what one of my friends recommended me to get. So I am gonna be making a what I eat in a day video. And I'm starting this at nighttime because I'm about to make, make my overnight oatmeal. So I'm gonna take you all along with me for that. Okay, these will be the ingredients that I'm using. I have chia seeds, oatmeal, strawberries, secret ingredient, cottage cheese, and honey. I'm gonna do half a cup of oats, half a cup. Then we're gonna do one cup of water in this. I'm doing this little mini container. We have lift in the morning at 8 a.m. So I'm making this so I'm just gonna wake up at like 7.30, eat this, and then go to lift. Okay, so I'm gonna put a cup of water in. All right, next we're gonna do like a spoon of chia seeds. All we have is a grapefruit spoon. Grapefruit spoon. Okay, come on. Focus. Whatever. Okay, it's a grapefruit spoon. It has red on it. Two spoons of this. I'll equal like a whole tablespoon. Mix it in there. Then we have cottage cheese. Now, I haven't really liked cottage cheese until recently, but I got this cottage cheese and put it in a food processor. I, okay, first of all, I didn't like it because I didn't like the texture. The chunkiness was not it for me. But I got this cottage cheese and put it in a food processor and now I put it back in there. I don't know if you can really see it. It's not chunky as I almost spill it. Anyways, I'm just gonna do like, Scoop of that, scoop like few, two scoops of that. Okay, this stuff is like really high protein, and so why not add a bunch of it, right? I'm gonna need it for the lift. So this oatmeal is gonna be like a strawberry cheesecake type of vibe thing. I'm also gonna do a scoop of collagen peptides because why not? Now we're gonna do cinnamon. I love a lot of cinnamon, so I'm gonna do a lot of that. And then we're gonna mix that all in there. Mix, mix, mix. Now, time for the sweetness to give it a little flavor because the cottage cheese is gonna make it a little sharp. So we're gonna put like a tablespoon of honey. Then we're gonna mix again. And then I'm going to cut up some strawberries and add these on top. And then after that, I'm going to let it sit in the fridge and have it in a few hours, like 12 hours. I'm going to do like three strawberries. And we're going to grab our oats. Put the strawberries in there. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. I think I already said that, but in the morning when I get them out, I'm gonna add probably a little bit of almond butter to them and some Greek yogurt. That's been my favorite right now with these strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. So good. Mm, that's the mess I made. Time to put this baby in the fridge. See you in the morning. I will also see you guys in the morning for a full day of eats. Good morning guys, it's like 7.20. So I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. Okay, so first things first, I start off with probiotic. I should keep in this little vitamin thing. It's Tuesday morning, so I so my probiotic. Oh, that's my vitamin D. Hold on. This is my probiotic right here. So. I start off by taking that before I eat anything, and then I drink, drink a bunch of water. Now once I take my food, I mean once I eat my food, I'll take the rest of the vitamins and supplements that I had in this Tuesday morning thing. So that's how I start my morning. Alright, let's go get my oatmeal that I'm so excited about. Time for the moment of truth. 
Oh yeah, it's like the perfect consistency. I like when it's a little more on the watery side rather than not liquid enough. Okay, there she is. Taste test time. Try her out. Mm. Mm -hmm. The almond butter on top makes this for sure. This really tastes like strawberry cheesecake and a little bit of almond butter. This is one of my favorite overnight oats recipes right here. Why is it blurry? All right, now we're about to head to lift and then have class right after, but I'll show you all what I eat for snacks and lunch. We just got out of the lift, walking back to the practice facility to shower off before class. Got an apple from Marshall, so I'm gonna have this, and then a protein shake before I head off to class. See you all later. Okay, just kidding, I lied. I am not drinking my protein shake because my class just got canceled. And honestly, I really don't like protein shakes. I just drink them because they're quick protein. So instead, I'm gonna go home and make mm, like lunch, breakfast, second breakfast, whenever I get hungry. So I will update you all with that when I get home. I'm just happy class is canceled. Okay, I'm back home. I just showered off. Now I'm in my bed and comfy clothes. Doing homework. I'm gonna, I'm working on a study guide for a test that I have on Thursday. So it's about like 9.30 right now. I'm gonna do this study guide for a little bit. Drink my green juice and then I'll probably be hungry soon. So I'll probably make like an omelet or something, like a little second breakfast. See y'all later. Okay, I'm about to make breakfast, but first I'm gonna make my coffee because I like it cold. So I'm gonna brew it and then put it in the freezer while I make breakfast so it gets cold. While my roommate is trying to use the new espresso machine, <laughs> she kind of blew it up. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a omelet with onions, some of this rotisserie chicken, and spinach and feta. I keep my onion cut like where you can dice it easily, like I cut it like a bunch of cuts and then cut it across. And then when I just cut straight down, it's like already chopped into a bunch of different pieces or diced, whatever the terminology you want to use. Just spray some of that in there. Rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna get a little bit of this and like shred it into pieces. I'm making a piece of avocado toast with this as well, I have sourdough toast. I'm gonna pop this in the toaster. Don't mind the mess in our sink. It's time to pour the eggs into the pan. I do one egg and then egg whites. Like really could scramble the eggs before putting them in the pan, but I don't want to dirty another dish, so I just do it in the pan. Time to assemble the avocado toast.
Okay, and then I add lemon juice, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes to it as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I added my chicken and feta to the omelet as well, and then I just flipped it. Now time to assemble my coffee. I already did this up. I poured some almond milk and creamer into a little cup and frothed it with a milk frother. So I'll show you guys. All right, then we're gonna add ice to this. This is my favorite. like a lot of ice in my coffee. Bless you. Now we're gonna pour the coffee. I'm not gonna be able to fit all the coffee in this cup because I put too much water in the Keurig, but we're just gonna fill it up as high as it goes. All right, here's the final setup for breakfast. Omelette and avocado toast and coffee. Fire. It is almost time for practice. It is 12.37. I'm gonna leave for practice at one. Practice starts at two and practice from like two to 4.30, maybe five, but usually 4.30. So I'm gonna make a little snack. I'm gonna have yogurt with peanut butter powder and some Catalina crunch on top. This is my favorite type of yogurt. Two big scoops. Now I'm gonna mix in some peanut butter powder into that. Now my favorite granola or cereal is Catalina Crunch. And I have the chocolate peanut butter kind and I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna add half a banana in there too. Mix, mix. It's one of my favorite snacks because it satisfy, satisfies my sweet tooth, but also has a lot of protein in it. Make sure you fuel your body. Honestly, when I first came to college, I struggled a lot with realizing how much I needed to fuel my body. I didn't know when to eat or what to eat, but figured it out along the way. It's been a long journey, that's for sure. But with the amount of time you spend working out and practicing, you have to eat and eat a lot. Some people just don't eat the best things, but I like to eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Okay, just got dressed to head to practice. I will film my dinner when I come back, but yeah. I'll see you all later. Okay, we just got back from practice. Just rinsed off and I'm about to make some dinner. It's like five o'clock probably. I'm gonna probably start making it soon. Actually, I have a vinaigrette salad. I may eat that, but with my vinaigrette salads, I, or at least with this salad, I like to make my own dressing. So I'll show you how I make my own dressing and then I'm gonna make a side with it. I'm about to make my salad dressing and I'm gonna show you what ingredients I use for it. Honey, black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, Dijon mustard, garlic, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and olive oil. I'm gonna make it in this measuring cup. So first I do a little bit of olive oil, probably like a tablespoon. Yeah, a tablespoon. Then we're gonna do apple cider vinegar, a probably Tablespoon of that as well. Tablespoon of lemon juice. Uh, probably half a tablespoon of honey. Um, I like a lot of Dijon mustard, so I do, oh, it's just spewing out. Probably a tablespoon of that. I'm gonna do like a fork full of garlic. Take the salt and pepper. That was kind of a lot. All right, then I just mix that all together and I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes just to like get all the flavors going. While I'm waiting for this, I'm gonna make some edamame. It has a lot of protein in it, 10 grams per serving. 
So I'm gonna put this on the stove top and I'm gonna put garlic in it, minced garlic, and then liquid aminos for a little like soy sauce type of taste. This is like one of my favorite snacks or like appetizers, I guess you could call it. High protein, super good. All right, and then we have our vinaigrette salad. And let me tell you, I am obsessed with vinaigrette. I have a deal there and I get like free salads every week and they have been life-saving. Like I'm, I don't have to put this in my YouTube video right now, but I get their salads like at least three to four times a week. And like, especially being an athlete, it's so nice just having like meals like prepared that are healthy like especially with like how healthy I like prefer to eat um I just like having these on hand so this salad has kale sweet potatoes quinoa sunflower seeds chicken and sunflower seeds and then I'm gonna put my dressing that I made here on top of it and have edamame that's on the stove top right now as a little appetizer time to pour the dressing on the salad I love, love, love mixing my food if you haven't been able to like tell today. Like I'm not gonna eat a salad without like mixing it all together or like my oatmeal, like I love mixing. Here's the dinner setup. Edamame as an appetizer and then salad that I already showed you all. I've already touched on this a little bit, but as an athlete, you need to fuel your body. You need to eat a lot and it sometimes sucks and it's sometimes hard because I struggled with eating for like the longest time, like all of high school, a lot of college, honestly. I feel like I've just kind of figured out how to eat for my body and to be successful because if you don't eat enough, you're gonna go to practice and you're gonna feel awful. You're gonna feel drained. Like you're not gonna have the energy to perform the way you know you can perform. And it's really just gonna make your performance decline if you don't fuel yourself the right way. So this is why I'm doing the what I eat in a day because I just wanted to show you what like, I mean, I consider myself healthy. Like I, I love eating healthy, but I wanted to show you all what I like eat as like a healthy college athlete. And this is just what works for me personally. What makes my body feel good. It what, it's what makes me feel good on the court. All that matters is that it works for me and the way I eat may not work for you. And that's fine. You got to figure out what works for you. So like, don't go and change your diet and try and make it look like mine like this is just some like meal inspo and to show you like how much i do eat in a day as an athlete you just got to fuel your body so yeah i will actually probably have a dessert tonight something sweet i have the biggest sweet tooth and a lot of people think i don't because like i eat healthy but that's not the case i just like substitute like healthier things to feed my sweet tooth and like that's what you got to do when eating healthy you just got to find healthy substitutes for the things that you do love so i will see you all later for something sweet after dinner taste test mm. oh my god if you make one thing from this video make this Edamame, ginger, liquid aminos. It tastes just like soy sauce. Also, you know what I just realized? I got a new camera and I'm looking like up at the top where I can see myself. I don't know if I'm supposed to look into the camera like that and talk to you all or look up because I like looking at myself to see what I look like. I've been looking at myself the whole time, but mm, let me know if I need to look down and look at the camera. I've been doing it the wrong way the whole time. Oh well, trial and error baby. And I will be ending the night with one of these so delicious ice cream bars. They're like dairy free. This one's dipped mocha almond fudge. And they're just like a little ice cream bar. I'll be having one of these for dessert and to end my day with. So thanks for following along on my what I eat in the day. Thanks for visiting my channel. And if you like what you're watching, subscribe. And if you all want to see anything else, like always, just comment what else you all want to see and i'll make it all right thanks for watching actually i forgot i also last thing i take i'm gonna take my
Tuesday night supplements, which is like, it consists of, I think, magnesium, L-theanine, L-theanine, zinc, and ashwagandha, which all like, just kind of like, help me settle down and fall asleep. So yummy, little chocolate, little ice cream, and I'm watching Dated and Related. You got chocolate on me. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching my what I eat in a day as a college athlete. This is again just some like meal ideas and stuff and just to get an idea of what I eat and what works for me to fuel my body. Don't base this on what you should or shouldn't be eating. So yeah, thanks for checking this out.